developing a cell therapy for, for cancer is, is challenging, right? Um, there's a number of things to consider. Um, one thing that we're also pursuing in the development of a stem cell therapy is, you know, how would you actually deliver that, right? So the one type of cell therapy that people may be most familiar with is, is autologous cell therapy, where I take part of you manipulate it in addition and then give it back to you. And this would be like a personalized cell therapy. The problem with doing that with iPS cells is it's slow and there's a lot of quality control steps along the way and ends up being extremely expensive, right? The second type of cell therapy, which people may have heard of, is allogenic cell therapy. So if I take a liver from one donor and I give it to another person, that would be, yeah, that'd be like an allogenic cell. Those allow for a wider distribution, master mix. So if you have a cancer and you come in and get a, a surgical resection, we would be able to on the, you know, off the shelf, take cells and then give them to you any day that you wanted, distribute them broadly. The problem there is that you'd be on immune suppression. And of course, the immune system is so critical for cancer remission that you would not want that approach. So the, the way that we're actually pursuing um, stem cell therapies is this third um, new route, which they've made these IPS derived cells, which are called immune cloaked cells. So they're stealth cells and they um, have HLAs that um, can hide from the immune system. So muscle cells can um, transplant into a, a patient and, and what they do is they terminally differentiate. So they don't grow. They don't grow like a cancer. They fuse and they make new muscle fibers that can contract but they, um, they evade the immune system. And so that they're immune cloaked and therefore you would not have to be on immune suppression. And so our whole goal is to translate this cell therapy um, using uh, the California Institute for Generative Medicine, the, the UCI Cancer Challenge, to then you know, develop a, a broadly used um, stem cell therapy for multiple people.